God is not looking for people. He's looking for faithful people. So don't ever, no matter what you are doing now, you are starting this year with fasting and prayer now. You have been asking God for something now. Now, make sure that that thing you are asking God does not stop you from serving God. Because so many of you here, by February, your testimony is around the corner. The blessing has come. The car has come. Will you not allow that to remove you from the presence of God? If God has blessed you, when you were nobody, and now God has blessed you, and you turn your back on that same God, that same God can, I swear, stop the grace from flowing. Is somebody getting what I'm saying now? It can Stop that thing from flowing. I've seen people who God gave house, they sold it, put it in business, the business died. Someone just said, uh, you have a house now, you can do this business. Do you know if you do this business in three months, you make more money to build two of this one and say, really, say, sell it. So how do I sell it? Go to bank, borrow money with the house. They'll go to bank and borrow money. That same day, that same time they borrow money, they'll put it in the business. That is when they will hear that the ship that the container of the goods the order is coming capsided in the sea. Is somebody getting what I'm saying now? Now, what, what is my message? My message is don't allow God's blessing to take the place of God in your life. Don't allow the things God has given to you to take the place of God in your life. You're asking God for children and God has given you children. Are you saying, oh, they don't allow me, oh, I don't have chance for children, oh, hey, this is why I, uh, I'm very tired. On Saturdays, I use it to do washing. On Sundays, I use it to rest. Are you telling God you should have not given me children? Are you telling God I'm not supposed to have children? Because the children you gave to me, they are not a problem. Ah, the business oh, is very ethical. That is why I'm not in service. That's why I'm there. Are you telling God he should have not given you business? Are you saying God should have not given you opportunity? There are little things God has used to try and test some persons to know their ability and capacity ahead of future blessings that disappointed God. There are some of you, God want to give you 10 million. He started with 1 million. When he came, he looked at your character, he closed the door of 10 million. He said, this one. This one who saw 1 million. We are looking for him in church. We couldn't see him. So don't bother about the money. God is not looking for people. He's looking for faithful people. Many are called. Few are choosing. He's looking for faithful people. Faithful believers. People who stand by their words. People who say, Jesus is you or never. People who say, whether in riches, in sickness, in whatsoever. You remember what uh, Job wife said to Job? He said, cause God and die. And Job said, I, I won't cause God. I will not die. I will not cause God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, if we die, we die. He alone can save us. But if he cannot save us, if we die with that, those are the generation God is looking for. Not people who pretend to get what they want. Once they get it, that is the end. 